aluminium window frames will pretty much last a lifetime. But if you want to change the colour of your room and the feel of your room, you might want to change the colour of those window frames as well. I'm going to show you how to do that using spray paint. It's quick and it's easy and it'll do away with all those annoying brush strokes. The tools and equipment we're going to need for this job are a cordless screwdriver or a hand screwdriver, a safety knife, either ram board or a drop sheet to protect our floor or carpet, of course our paint, our primer and our top coat, and a rag for cleaning, masking tape to mask off the glass to keep the paint off the glass, and of course our safety equipment. So of course we need to remove all our window fittings and our fixtures, so let's get into that. Because we need a dust free surface when we're going to paint, we're going to thoroughly clean the frame inside and out. Now it's time to mask off the areas that we don't want paint on and of course to cover our floors with our drop sheets so that we don't get paint on them. Use a good quality painter's tape to protect the surfaces that you don't want to get paint on. Once you've done your initial masking up, a great little tip is to use just plain household hand towel to create an apron to protect your reveals. The paper towel is just for overspray, but just make sure you don't saturate it, otherwise it'll penetrate through. Now I'm just going to cover all the reveals. Once you've done your reveals, it's time to tape off your windows. When you're using masking tape, it's a good idea to tear off arm length pieces and apply it in small pieces. This allows us to get the tape nice and close to our window frame. Preparation is key. It'll take some time, but it'll be time saved later cleaning up. These window frames haven't been painted before, so we're going to use an etch primer before we paint. That'll help the paint to hold on to that smooth surface. When you're spray painting, always remember to use your respirator mask to protect your airways and also your gloves to protect your hands and eyeglasses to protect your eyes. When you're using a can of spray paint, you need to hold it between 10 and 25 centimetres from the surface that you're painting and it's much better to do multiple fine thin coats rather than doing one heavy coat to avoid getting runs. For optimum results, follow the instructions on the can to make sure that your primer is good and dry before you start applying your top coat. Make sure you give the can a good shake to mix it thoroughly before applying your top coat. This paint comes in a variety of colours. I've chosen a gloss fish pond to blend in with the colour of the room. Drying time between coats is 20 minutes. Depending on how it's covering, you might need to do up to three coats to get good coverage. Before the paint is really dry, it's time to take off our masking tape. And if we've done a really good job, there won't be much cleaning up to do. Now the job's done, that's how you spray paint a window frame. And as you can see, it blends in so beautifully with the room around it.